All right, we're here with uh, Chad and James. Up in uh, Chad's spot. Trying to uh, go out, trying to look at some of the stuff he's uh, found over the years and uh, hopefully get some evidence. So, stay tuned, guys. What are we looking at? How did that fall in there? How did it get behind that vine? Yeah, it is in between every single little... How? Okay, I, you're going to see so much more of this, okay? And I'm telling you, this used to not be here. This is wrapped up in here. This, this twisted right up here that way. Stuff. And one day, up here, I was here one day, there was no storm or nothing overnight. Came back the next morning to check the apples. And this huge, gigantic branch that with all green leaves, it wasn't broken off of that tree that's right over here that I'm going to show you, was stuffed up there like 20 feet. And then there were, it blocking the whole trail. Then there were other trees set on top of that. One day it wasn't, and next day it was. Where did it come from? Look how it's hooked right up there. See the little hook on the thing? Oh, yeah. See how it's all fed through this stuff? If it fell, it's not going to feed its way through that stuff. It was here one day, and the day before it wasn't. Uh, this definitely doesn't belong to this tree. And uh, it doesn't belong to these trees around it. But multiple times in here, I've been, they've uh, followed me. Okay, well, we want to find a, a young tree that's, that's had, uh, that's four acorns. Okay. And when we find that, then we want to closely examine, you know, eight to 10 feet up in the branches for where they're, they reach up to pick the acorns when they go ripe and where they snag their arm hands. So we're looking for oh, okay. young, young oaks that are old enough to bear fruit. So we keep trucking along and uh, in the next uh, clip actually we uh, heard, hear something creeping um, through the woods. It uh, caught our attention along with a uh, bird making an alert call. Um, alerting to whatever it is um, coming in and uh, so we uh, try to listen for it and uh, later in this video we actually uh, theorize of what what is actually there and we actually think it's a Sasquatch so um, unfortunately the audio didn't pick up um, as much as I was hoping in this uh, next clip but um, something is creeping in you can hear the bird and uh, so hopefully uh, you guys possibly moving towards us and that's what that blue jay's uh, alert is. Yeah, that's an not alert. It's not alerting us, is it? It's not us that is calling for. I don't think so. And that's a back towards the den area where that blue jay is. Where we're going to be going after we check out my camp spot where everything got destroyed. Yeah, it's being alerted by something. Have you heard that? It was like an owl or something over there. It sounded like an owl right when you were talking. Hopefully the audio picked it up. You guys running your stuff? Oh, I got your stuff right here, Chad. I don't know how to work it. If we we're start like hearing something, then we'll turn them on. Yeah, I did. did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Let's just listen. Is that cars though? No. Well, those are cars. No, I hear something. Hear no, I, I hear did. I just didn't know. Like, they both sound similar. Sounds like something slinking through the woods right yeah, there. Yeah, it was like something was walking and something went crack. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. No, no, that uh, 
fell in there and that got woven in, fell and woven in between there? Probably not. Look. I think they just got woven through. Crooked. It didn't just fall in there. And you think this just fell in here? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I can't see where it would have fell from. It, got, it didn't. Another branch up there that's faced the other way, too. That is pretty interesting. Boy, look at that wide branch and how it's woven. It looks like it fell from up there, but how would it? So now we're actually heading in to the thickets and, uh, the place is pretty neat. It's uh, actually uh, really thick back there. Um, obviously, in summer, it's going to be even more hard to uh, actually go off trail. But uh, Chad's taken us to some uh, spots where he had activity, and uh, so we're going to check them out. And along the way, we're going to find some uh, tree structures. And uh, so everything's you know in this area is actually pretty interesting. I was um, quite surprised um, with how much things uh sparked my attention um you can see right there's uh some uh, pretty used game trails um there's a lot of deer um, tracks in there a lot of uh, uh small game and stuff so the area is uh plentiful with food and um really good water source so i think uh, actually it's a good spot for them to hang out at game trails up in this thicket. Looks like DNR, someone's been in here marking everything. Um Could be just uh, surveying something. Yeah, they might be surveying like the water in the moss or something like that. Just like one area or something. All right, this is Chad's gifting area. You gonna reach up there and do that? Okay, now you left these when? Uh, over two years ago. Okay. Oh. Well, they're two years old now, but... Those are berries. Something opened them. Maybe it could have been an animal, though. Who knows? Well, I... You have to put it up high, though, so you'd know that's for a some... fact. Yeah, that's up there. And there's a tree right there. Oh. That's not thorny. Carry on, man. Are, are we in yeah. yeah, do what you uh do what you do. <laughs> you have like a stick in your face. <laughs> the I've had here is so oh, when I'd come out all by myself, I'd almost uh every day, every other day basis, by the time I was done hanging them, you you could hear them. You'd hear them. They'd be walking, they'd be getting closer. And this is kind of their 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 space. I just come here to gift them, and then I leave. All right. And, uh, so show us how you do it. Thing. So when I when I come back, let's see if this breaks or not. Oh. Oh. You know a raccoon's not gonna get that. You know a deer's not gonna get that. If a squirrel gets it, there'll be bites out of it, and fall. which happens. But if this is gone. I can touch the bottom of a basketball net flat-footed. 
Okay, so no deer standing up on his hind legs. No, oh, it's a eight, eight foot tall, I would say. Deer can't get it. And that's what I like to do when I leave them. Either I'll hang them in a bag, like I did here, wrap the whole bag, and they'll come rip the bag open and take them out on their own. Um, they prefer mesh. They don't really care for plastic. Yeah, see, if it was small animals that were getting into that bag, uh, I think they would bite and bite and bite and bite and chew, and they would be leftover apples still rotting away in there. But obviously, the bag has been ripped open, and all the apples have been taken. And that was the last bag I left out here about two years ago, maybe a little longer. Do this. I mean, a, a raccoon could climb up there, I suppose. Maybe, yeah. But a raccoon's not climbing up there. That if one's kind of thin. Know, might fall, yeah. That branch will break. Yeah. And again, in my opinion, that bag would have leftover apples from um, little, little critters, because I don't think they could rip the bag open like it is. You're hanging seven apples. What's that for? Because I used to only take five or leave five when I would leave them out here. And it was always constant. They'd always eat them all, but I'd put them out and then come back the next day and there'd either be five gone or five left. It's been two years, and if they've had a baby a year, I would think that would mean there would be seven of them possibly. Just taking a guess, I don't know. All right. This, yeah, this is all manipulation. We're only gonna find it here. Uh, you walk any anywhere that I've walked in here, you're not gonna find this. That way, for later on, they become like that. But that's yeah, this little on. spot right there looks good. Uh, it's hollowed out in the middle, and uh, it's really thick up in there. All right, where is the tree? Oh, there it is. That one. The one over here the There's right. a tree house, or is there's that a tree blind? Cool what is that up there? It's blind. The no, straight ahead. The tree stand? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you said there's no there. hunting though. There's not. Not now. Oh, it, there was. Yeah, that. Uh, it's interesting. That's uh, placed up in there. Why don't you check what it's woven into down here at the bottom? That's been here. I've seen it. Now, uh, hey, you see that? That's where we will never go. I'm not gonna let him do it to me again. That's where I tried to take Ernie. The minute I got into what did you try to do? That's where I tried to take Ernie. The minute I walked into that is the minute the shit hit, hit the fan. What happened? You got zapped. I got EMF poisoned, is what I call it. Um, I went from perfectly normal to not knowing where I was, not being able to walk. My equilibrium was gone. I was so confused. I was accusing. Ernie of drugging me. I was having like I was panicking. Ernie actually, I wouldn't have got out of the woods without him. He all but carried me out with me falling down multiple times. Ask Ernie how many times I fell down. Wow! And so it's that area right over there. It's pretty thick looking. I mean, you. Yeah, that's you'd where we'll never. That we're, basically that's be crawling. In that's there. Down. And it's about the only place you find pine trees too, if you notice. Oh yeah. There's not many pines out here. So, just like my experience, if we find a broken pine branch, anything stuff, stuffed up in here, yeah. there's no pine trees around, so we know it's manipulation. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Seriously. What do you think about the spot, James? I'm actually getting anxiety. Right now? Yeah. All right, yeah. 10 seconds. Well, there's a little bit, yeah. What do you think about this I, mean, I can feel it in my chest. Hey. It's, got, it's got potential. 
there's a lot of manipulation and weird branches that shouldn't be here like that and uh, swamp area I agree I think this area is really good as you can see behind me and stuff uh, that that is pretty thick back there um, this is also thick in here but uh like Chad says you got you kind of got a little weird feeling uh you got it too yeah just a it, it bit. just came I mean maybe because you said something no because I probably it happened when I started st looking at the area oh no I mean it's falling in. what do you think James I don't know I'm I feel like really weird so do I James is feeling weird I've got anxiety. like anxiety okay they both got anxiety I I don't have anything severe going. Okay. Anything else? No. Same with me, man. It's like my heart feels like I'm not taking a deep breath, and my heart feels funny. The, yeah, the, the, the beverage is not affecting anything, no, by the way, not. people. Yeah, this is pretty uh, manipulated and stuff. Everything's hanging here. You got one through there. You got this one through there. Look up there. You got that yeah, one. Like a singular branch right there. That one, little one. This is, I can tell you, the special tree. Dude, you should see the den, the nests over here. Why don't we use that? Right here, guys. This one right here, too. It's just underneath, right here. And then it's over top all of these. So that one's pretty interesting for sure. Now we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave some apples up in here. This little cubby. All of them. And, uh, Chad's gonna come back out here and see if anything happens. Um, maybe we'll he'll get gifted with another something. Little branches in there and make an It's broken off like that. Yep. Oh, I got here. But dude. Just being balanced up in there. Dude, what gets me is this one. Being balanced off the ground. Yeah. Look down at the ground. It's just being balanced. Okay, we we left how many? Six apples? Miles. That was five. Five? Yeah. We left five apples in the tree. Uh Blake, you're welcome to go there. I am now walking to Chad's no-go spot. His, he says it's the nest, nesting the area. Down in nesting area. Okay, he's uh, got bad AM after when he's walked over here. So I'm going to go walk over here and we're going to see uh, see what happens. This is uh, Blake from the Lost Cryptids Conservatory. Let's go check this area out. I see nothing yet. You can tell it's pretty open up in here. And... You can tell there's uh, animal tracks here. So Chad told me not to go past this, and out of respect, I'm gonna listen to him. I'm gonna get up a little closer though. Now this spot during the summer, it's a good spot to hang out and that you will be covered. And from where they are, it'd be very hard to spot a creature laying down. It's totally still. So, and it just gets thicker back in there. Right in front of me is an impression that first caught my eye. But doesn't this all look, um, it 
it's all trampled down by foot. Foot. Yeah, foot. It's not Our deer. So Over here. here right now. Yeah. You guys look at this one right here. Yeah. Heel. There's toe depressions, dude. Don't move them, don't move it, don't move it. Look, they're pretty. There's toe depressions. Maybe. Yeah. But there's impressions uh, right here, right here. So it's hard to see. There's a, there's a little hole. There's a hole right through here they get through. That's where the, this, this where these, these uh, footprints go. Now right here it's pretty, it's indented. It looks like a person is stepping there. I don't think the camera's picking up and we didn't bring any casting track material. It's not depressed anywhere else, is it? But it is all in this area. Yeah, we've got depressions here. Um, they're not deer depressions. I've been looking at them all day. The ground's been pretty frozen. Yeah, that's, that's just weird though. A stick out. Drug over here. I need you to look at the environment. Right here. Something got drug. Now they're crawling. They get out through there. They're craw they they're crawling underneath here and going that way. Right here's some good impressions. Right here, Right there. Yeah. Yeah. So. You can clearly see this track is different from a deer or other animals and it is the size of mine actually. Um, it's smoothed out where the palm would be and um, it's either knuckle or uh, toe impressions. I think it could be a knuckle print or hand print and uh, it's really odd and uh, it's the best track that I've ever come across in my opinion of finding them. And I really think that we got something here. And the other tracks around it are um, not as good, but they are um, not deer tracks for sure. And uh, it is in the exact spot, 10 feet away from that pine tree, of uh, where um, Chad and James have seen this individual. Um, fortunately, I did not videotape it, um, but I videotaped it the seconds before and it is possibly standing in those frames so um, it's pretty amazing that we found these tracks um, twice now did you expect this much or not some scared birds off right over there did you expect this much or not no I think uh, a couple breaks but I didn't think we'd find um I didn't think we'd find impressions. You think I'm going to spend five hours of drive time today to come get you to come look at a couple breaks? That's right, guys. We've been on the road for a while. We're going to be. We still got to get you home and then yeah. me back. Yeah, it's worth it. This is worth it. Each trip. Yeah. We got impressions. I think are, are some good impressions. Okay, come on. Here. Um, manipulation. Call it, uh, Chad has had uh, counters out here out what Chad just discovered again this this branch is just hanging in here it's not just hanging it's woven in it's woven in there look and then there's just sticks woven in that are just underneath in. over under over under this is now this is the uh multiple ones we have seen already where they're in here being balanced and they're underneath stuff and woven over top. This is a good sign. I have found this sign in my area. Same exact, very subtle, very subtle. You would pass by and barely it notice it. Yeah. yeah. But it's super subtle, guys. They had to break it for it to do it. That's they why you have to, to uh, actually look for hair on that. Yeah, we're trying to look for hair. Um, it's going to be really hard but it is hopefully there on some of these structures so if you guys find structures manipulation like that look for hair is that a spider web? 
right here? I have it's no idea. It's not spider web if it's, if it's it in winter, here. so. I don't know. Come look at it. Let me see. It looks whitish. Right. Right, right there by my finger. Oh, no. Oh. Hair, their, their hair that they're going to. From this angle, you can see this. It, it literally is oh, over top over one that and one. over that one. See, see it? It didn't. I don't think that fell in there, guys. No, they That just top do one's like, over and then tucks here. underneath that. Look at the, and all, all this. Look at down here. And then just, this, this branch up there, too. Yeah, that, that goes out here. But look at down here. Yeah. Look at how they just stack it. Look at the bottom. It, right it goes under this, over there. A lot there. of broken branches and stuff right here. And uh, it's right next to the um, nesting area and. Uh, where we found impressions, it looks like. I the think- The den is 300 yards that way. Okay. The actual den, the place I get, they and really I think I think there's a creek on the back side of this, small creek. There's a little teeny. There's a small creek on the back side of this and it leads to a bigger one. Leads to a river. River, yes. And over yeah, there. I, know. I, I keep heard. hearing things. Keep hearing that, James? Yeah. I heard something make a step. When we were all over here, I was, I was listening. Dude, I heard there. something crunch. There's a little. Step. Yeah, just a crunch. A little crunching going on over there. I heard it a few times. No one said anything. I didn't say anything. But... No, but that was loud. That means it's getting closer. So, uh. <laughs> Right there, yeah. Straight right here, in front. Right here. Right here. Right Something. It was trees. A, it just, just a dark movement really fast. Yeah, but it's where we keep hearing stuff, so. Let's go walk over there. Uh, yeah, I saw it. Here's a little game trail that goes right through here. Check this out. What? How did you not get this? What do you see? I a depression. Oh, really? Yeah, a good one. That could be a handprint too. You gotta see this place. I don't see no. After you're done filming that wing, it's much more exciting. Tell me when you find there. I saw something by that pine tree. Dude, see anything over there? Look at it. You can see impressions right there, dude. I don't want to go past that. <laughs> okay, guys, we're about to leave this area. I'll put my hand right next to it. And they said there's more impressions. I don't think that's deer, dude. I think that's part of a foot. That's kind of hard to say. Oh, look at that. There's someone's up there. Okay. It's Possible track right there.
All right, guys, as you can see, uh, those tracks are pretty good. Uh, in fact, that first track, I think, is definitely a, a, a hand track, a handprint. And, uh, you know, we got so sidetracked by finding those that we completely forgot the sighting walking over to the, where that creature stood. And we actually decided to uh, walk to a different uh, area. Chad had seen a, a small one. So we uh, continued on, followed uh, this trail on the back side of... You know, all these uh, old apple trees and uh, everything's really overgrown and you can just really tell it's really going to be gnarly during the summertime. And So we head out to this other area so Jack can uh, explain his sighting. And so we uh, continue on this uh, on the trail and it leads us to an uh, interesting find. This is stuck up in here. Okay, so in this one area, there's multiple stuff wrapped in it, and uh, it's really hard to get through here. I don't think a lot of people would go. A lot of people would go through here. Jim's uh, might have to get a little wet. Just fell in and just got broken and put over it. I mean. Oh but, yeah, we're blocked out. Well, they definitely don't want people using this trail. That's I mean, for sure. Come on. There's come always on. a way around. But I don't... All right, so this Chad is where you had seen a juvenile. A, pro, a, pro, a pre-juvenile, man. It was like a toddler. Okay. It, it, if it stood up, it probably wasn't three foot tall. Where was it? Uh, Behind us, I pushed from the. See the tree right there? Yeah. Right there? That's the tree we were at. Yep. I pushed, and it's really terrible to get through, pushed through it. As I'm pushing through it, right. I could hear something moving in front of me. So I'd stop, it didn't move, it'd stop, I'd move. And then behind me, I heard something much louder following me. I got to this little trail, and I figured it went straight across. Whatever was following me, I didn't know. I had an uncomfortable feeling. So I come down this trail. Okay, here guys are uh, deer impressions and they look nothing like the impressions we found earlier. So hopefully they can compare well. Here Chad found this one, just lean up against there and uh... Hey, what's that back there? Alright, so here's another thing. This is on top of it, this is rolled in the tree, which is this tree. It's woven. This goes all the way in between there. That one's just kind of leaning right there for no reason. This one's leaning right there. And that one is placed up in there too. It's in the ground. It was. It was held to the tree like this. This one is leaning up against this. Snapped. Woven. Yeah. This is snapped right here. And someone wove this right through here. There's two snaps on it. But then look at this. We got this too. What do we got there? Oh yeah. Six they think we won't notice. We'll notice, won't we? And then there's a break right Look at here. this. Looks like this broke right here. It's right next to this Another stream. There's like three breaks. Well, this isn't actually a stream, dude. It's just a low, low overflow. And, uh,. You know, this whole area is just uh, riddled with these tree structures and uh, oddly placed limbs. Uh, everything's uh, woven in between things. Uh, it's pretty unique. Uh, and uh, so we let, we were in this area and uh, actually happened upon another track, and uh, another small track actually. Um, the ground is smoothed out and you can see the uh, uh, maybe knuckle or finger uh, prints, I'm not quite sure yet. Come look at this footprint I found. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think 
come on, look. How did this didn't fall in here, man? It did that did not fall in there. It can't. I don't think that fell in there. I think it fell over here and it was picked up and stuffed up in there. Yep, but pretty ironic. All the wise we find caught on wise. Yeah, it's just hanging there. Yep. Pretty big piece too. And with everything oh, else we bumpy, found. Yeah. Wanna go straight across. Like right there. There's one above you too. Look at that one. Did this fall in here, man? Come on. There's one behind. Did that fall in there? Look, look at right there. You think yeah. this whole thing could have fell in, guys? Look at this. Fell in between here with that fork at the bottom like that? I don't think so, guys. Look at that. And it's being held by a branch that's broken too. Look at this. This right here. It just goes over this branch, it goes over, under, in between here, and it's broken. And then look up there. Alright guys, well, uh, as we were heading out, we were discussing what happened today, and, you know, we found another track, a small one, and uh, it looked pretty good. Uh, and besides that, there was a bunch of tree structures, oddly placed tree branches in places that could not have fall, uh, fell there. And definitely, you know, it is unique. Some of it definitely was uh, manipulated. And all right, guys, all right, guys, we have just finished the research scout trip in Chad's area. And we've actually had a few things happen. So, Chad, uh, give us a rundown of what happened today. Bigfoot's not real. I don't know. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> okay, and action. <laughs> Bigfoot's not real. I don't know what the hell that was. We were hallucinating. Yeah. I did. We we heard things walking here and there. Um, had uh, uneasy feelings when we were by the den area that we didn't actually go in. Uh, we found a lot of glyph structure type things. A lot of signs. We found. A lot of foot depressions. We found some with toes. Um, it is what it is. Um, you know, I'm sure everything we found wasn't Bigfoot, but everything we found wasn't not Bigfoot either. I think there was a good percentage chance that some of the things we got definitely was manipulated by Bigfoot. James, any anything you want to add? Talk about anything that caught your eye while you were uh, out here? All the Y structures we found. Uh... While you were filming us, we saw a black thing dirt behind the tree. Right. And, uh... Uh... <laughs> it's hard to think. It's alright, it's alright. Did you ever feel easy, uneasy? Yeah, I felt a little, like, my anxiety got, like, real bad at one point. At the same time mine did, too. Yeah, I was, like, wasn't breathing that well. That, and, um, that was the same time where they heard, um... I was filming like this, I think, and, uh they seen something in front of me i was concentrating to look somewhere else but we had heard um whatever you had guys seen we had heard it creep up to us multiple times we kept seeing kept um saying hey did you guys hear that okay you hear that and then also a blue jay was doing an alarm call so what do you guys think that was do you think that was a what do you think it was could have been anything but in the area and i'm I'm really familiar with the area and I know it's out here. It could, really could have been anything, but if it was my guess, I would have to say it was probably a Bigfoot. And if you ask, why didn't we go chase after it? Everybody will vouch where it was, was so thick and had so much structure that we weren't gonna get through it. We, we had to go around to get out of there anyways, correct? Right. James, what do you think that was that you've seen? What's your gut well, feeling telling you? What do you think? It couldn't have been a bear because there's no bear here. That's right. So I guess the only logical explanation is Bigfoot. Do you think it was a person? No way. Get no. back in there, dude. would have to be either We're crazy or homeless. Friend. Right. Exactly. You know, the day was a pretty great, successful uh, time. And the trip out there was um, insightful about the area. I think that they're definitely there. And actually, there was one there. Um, James and Chad had seen it. We had heard it creep up on us at two different times. 
uh, when we were walking on the back side of the nesting area, and then when we uh, drove in there, it had creeped back towards us, and that's when they had seen it. I had filmed just before it. Uh, it could possibly be in there somewhere. I know it's just a couple seconds before um, the sighting, and uh, you know we found the impressions by the uh, uh, nest uh, area with the tunnel. You know they were impressions, but then we actually found the track with a viable print. Uh, you know uh, I think it's a hand track and uh, or a possible knuckle print. I showed up really, really good, and then, uh, you know, later we found some, some smaller ones, and, uh, you know, they're pretty good. I think the area definitely has them, still, and so, uh, at the time of this, uh, we had put the apples out, uh, Chad had actually checked them a couple of days later, and, uh, all the apples are gone, uh, there was no chunks anywhere. All the apples were just uh, missing. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Facebook group. And we got the live show each and every Saturday. I try to keep it around 7 p.m. Eastern. But, you know, depending on where the guest is from, uh, that might change. But usually 7 p.m. Eastern. So we got that each and every week. Uh, we're doing more and more scout trips and explorations. And actually uh, got a few overnighters planned, hopefully to bring you guys some uh, big stuff from a bunch of people here in Michigan and myself so hopefully you guys uh, are enjoying the channel the content the live show uh, it's been really good um, positive feedback and I enjoy it and hopefully we guys you know hopefully we get some great evidence uh, actually from around Michigan from a bunch of different researchers and I, I thoroughly enjoy um, bringing you guys the content so thank you guys so much, and uh, make sure you guys tune in.